The following program is brought to you in part by Time Warner Cable and the Madison County School System. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. This program is sponsored by L81. Hello everyone, welcome to Madison Southern High School. My name is Donald Foster, with me tonight is Doug Sally. Tonight we get ready for 44th District action early. The Model Patriots travel to Berea to play the Madison Southern Eagles. Doug, what do you think about this matchup of district rivals? I'll tell you what, I'm looking for a real close game tonight. Uh, the last four times these teams have played, it's come right down to the wire. M last time they played here, Model beat Southern. In the district tournament, the last two years, it's come right down to the last few seconds, and Southern was able to squeak out victories. And then last year in the regular season, it was a close uh, Madison Southern win. So uh, these teams are pretty evenly matched, and I look for a really close ball game tonight. Madison Southern upset model last year. Model went to the OLA Classic, came in, drew Southern, and Southern beat them in a close one in the opening round of the 44th District. Model comes in at 12 and 3 this year. 12 and 3, they got an outstanding record. Uh, their only three losses have been to Jackson County, East Carter, and Garrett County. Uh, They've been uh, pounded it inside. They've got a little size, but they do have a player missing tonight. Uh, uh, the Chin boy is Alex Chin. Yes, he's been uh, suspended. He was ejected during the last game, so he won't be with them tonight. That game Saturday night against Berea featured right. six technicals, 83 free throws. Wow! So and, it was uh, heated. Well, Coach Scarberry said before the game they're going to have to change their game plan a little bit without him in the lineup. So we'll see what happens. Get ready for the tilt. Eagles Patriots. Early district rival action. And model controls. Looks like Southern's going to open in a little 2 3 zone. Been told model can shoot the ball pretty well. They've got three shooters, and uh, but Coach Scarberry said they're a little inconsistent. And there's one of them right there. 
Rice Gordon's their leading scorer. He's averaging 15 a game. He looked really smooth on that here, shot. Here comes that 2-2-1 two, two, press. Coach Buttry mentioned to me. Little swagger out of the Patriot after he hit the three. Yeah, that'll give them some confidence right away. Southern had some trouble against the uh, Clark County pressure the other night. Yes. Stacy Burns was injured that game, but he seems to be okay starting tonight. Man action out of the Model Patriots to open the ball game. Could be a little, could be a little matchup. Could be a matchup zone. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's Tanner Kidwell with the ball, looking down low, kick it out. Shot is up and off the mark for the freshman Jefferson. Nice rebound from Linval. Otieno right there is a really good playmaker for them and outstanding. Stacy Burns off the mark. Back in, nice save from Kidwell. He saved it back into Devonta who got the basket. Now a little pressure of their own for the Eagles. Rebounded by the freshman Jefferson looking to run. All the way, puts it up, no good. Drew the foul. Early on, 3-2, 6.37 to go opening quarter. Model looks to push the pace a little bit. They're not, they're not shy about shooting on the come down. They've come down twice and taken the first look they had. Both of them threes. Freshman Jefferson at the line where he misses the first. Been doing an excellent job for Southern all year at the point guard spot. He has. He's, he's taking his lumps as far as experience goes, but he's going to be a really good player. Little Tie ball game. Coming the other way now. He gets up in the air where he didn't want to be. Got lucky on completing. Kidwell with a little trouble with his shoe. Now gets back into the action. Nice, nice defense finish. by Burns. Nice finish inside by Kincaid. He's uh. He's one of their stronger players inside. Kidwell. Jefferson Kidwell still having trouble with the shoe. Linville off the mark. And a foul underneath against the freshman Jefferson, his first. Madison Southern has played all three district teams this season. Yeah, they have. And, you know, every year the to topic comes up about seeding oh. in the district meeting. And it just does never happen. Two schools. Two schools. Won't four, mention two them. Two schools against it. One's in Berea, one's in Richmond. <laughs> one's on the floor tonight. But, but this is huge, though, for Shane and the Southern, though, to play them early. You'll have film on them. You have played them, whoever you draw in the district. Exactly. There, so, there shouldn't be as many surprises that way. That's right. The kids will be a little more familiar with each other. Short corner. The double trap. team. May have to take time out, and he does. Good trap there by Huff and Linville on the baseline. Time out to model. It will be a 30-second timeout. 30-second will stay here. As we said, Southern or model comes in at 12 and three. Lost to Jackson County at the Bria tournament. Only loss they suffered. They yeah. ran the back way out with right. three and zero. Oh. Coach Scarberry does a really good job. He works hard. He's got the program at a really good level. Uh, you know, they went to the All-A Classic last That's year huge. and uh, had an outstanding season. So, uh, you know, they, they're no pushover, that's for sure. Not like it used to be. I mean, used to be when you saw a model on the schedule, it was a chance to get your JV kids in play, but not right now. Like I said, Coach Scarberry and the Patriots are for real. Inbound. Southern playing with a 2-3 zone. Big thing for Southern, find a three-point shooter. Nice rotation on the outside. Not settling for a bad shot. Good flash in the middle. Yes, 44. Close is wide open. Caleb Kincaid, a senior, 6'5 senior with the basket. Burns all the way down, draws the foul. He will be at the line for two. That's something to keep an eye on there. If Kincaid gets in foul trouble is with their depth down That's tonight right. on the inside, that could be a factor. I was told that Chin played a lot of minutes for 
model. So that's a big loss tonight. Yeah, he's he'd been playing really well. As a matter of fact, uh, Coach Scarborough said he'd kind of been their go-to guy. They'd really been looking for him inside for points. It's 102. It's seven to four a model, 520 to go open a quarter. All the way down. They're gonna get the charge on them. Charge on Huff. Got a, I think they got a block on that. Or block, I'm sorry. I said charge meant block. Kind of got bailed out that time. I thought he was really out of control and he was lucky to pick up the foul. Huff's picked up a lot of charges this year. Now I agree with you, it looked like he may have been a little out of control. Miller checking in early. Andrew Miller checks in. Look for the shooter to step back in. Still got his own look. So now you got Kidwell playing down on the baseline yep. defensively. That's really a small lineup. Basket by number two, Jared Adams, another senior. The freshman Jefferson all the way down the lane, wow. up and no good. Rebound by look to be Kidwell. Alley hoop shot, no good. Rebounded by Linville, up and good. Finally got one. Southern on the boards right there. They really attacked the glass. Way to stay after it, not give up. Got to press. May have traveled, going to get a hold. Hold on, Kidwell. Otieno again. He's very aggressive on the drive and looking to create something. It's only the first on Tanner. Southern can ill afford to lose him. He's had a tendency to get in some foul trouble when we've seen him this year. He is. He's he plays hard. Long distance three. Wow. wow. Hey, what? That's that's a deep range right there. And look, talking after he hit it once again. Kidwell into the lane, up and had it blocked. Blongs with the Eagles. Little box play run on the out of bounds. Oh, end of freshman. Looks like they're wanting to maybe try to get inside to Huff. They're really playing their wings up a little bit. Uh, they're two three zone. Oh, no, Huff lost it's it. Trip. Wow. Down lane, no. That's one of those no, 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 yes yeah. shots. Quickly, it's All 14 right. to 6. Model on top. There's Mason right there. Caleb Miller in the game for Mason Southern. He's also another freshman. Number five. Kidwell to Huff. Huff down low, had it blocked. Out of bounds. Huff thought he had a little contact there. And might have been a little body, but that might have been a good no call. Yeah, they both had their hands extended. Didn't look like much. Up top. Southern's youth is going to have to be able to keep him in the game early. Well, you got two freshmen, and a walk. sophomore, and two seniors yeah. out there for Southern. So they can't afford to get no, not get too railed by the 14 to 6 ball game. And what you don't want these younger guys to do is start pressing and forcing yeah. and uh, trying to do things they're not capable of doing just because they're down early. It's a long way to go with 3.22 left, opening quarter. One thing Southern has to do is find that shooter out there. The man who just laid it in. Nice crossover there by OTNO. Linville takes it, drives, picks it up. Off the glass, no good. Bottle with the rebound, look at a run. Oh, he carried that ball. He got it. Yep. Sure did, put that hand right underneath. That's something you don't see much of, though, in high school. Yeah, Levi Agee checking in right now for Mason. Antonio Thresh into the ball game for Madison Southern, number 32, taking it out of bounds. 
Kind of a one, two, two look here. Yep. Look from the trap. Little three quarter. See where they're drawing trap here at midcourt. Good job by the freshman. Huff for three. Off the mark, no good. Run out. Nice job to strip it loose. Oh, my. That's going to be two on Tanner. I think that's on Kidwell, yep. Got to love his enthusiasm. Get back. He was really aggressive going after that ball, but unfortunately he got too much body there in the mix. Freshman Caleb Miller into the ball game now to replace him. He got the sergeant kid in. And yep. Well, I'll tell you what, they are really small right now. Oh, no, he beat Huff. Up and rose out. Fell on Huff. I think that's two on Trevor. It's only one. But that is team foul number six on the Eagles. Yeah, Bottles into foul free throws early. Yeah, they're getting in a little foul trouble. They're going to have to watch it. 232 left opening quarter. And the bad thing is they've been playing zone. That's the problem. That's what I, you know, that's what Coach Butcher has to be thinking. I played zone, and I've got six fouls. And a star player on the bench. Way off the mark. Rebounded by the freshman over to Thrash. Tries to get into Huff. Wasn't there, forced another turnover model did. Looking to run. And they're gonna get a foul underneath. I believe it's gonna go against number four, Jefferson. You can tell Otieno's MO, he's going after the basket. He's all about it. And, and early on in the bonus. For the Patriots. about those free throws this weekend that yes. was involved in. Looks like it's going to be. Oh, it another might be another one like of those. That. Funny looking free throw attempt from the lefty. Off the mark. That's going to be their saving grace if Model cannot hit the early free throws here. I never did like to see a player get off the nail hole as they I say. I didn't either. That's why it made line. it look funny. Rainbow, no good. Long rebound comes down to number 10 for model. Levi Ag. Still got the zone look right in his face off the mark. That was a little heat check right there. That was another deep one with some pressure. Had a hand in his face. It's getting a little greedy now. Another turnover. Uh, saved. Saved by the freshman Miller. If the post isn't there, you cannot force it. Oh, that's two on Kincaid. So now we've got. Now both teams have a star player in foul trouble. That's right. So who's going to be able to make the adjustments and right. play the best without key players in their lineup? And as you said, model's not especially deep either. Not so. inside, they're not. Not tonight. Huff to the line for two. Ends the scoring draft for the, for the Eagles. Well, Mason's coming back in, so now that's going to help the matchups with Southern as far as size. They're going to match up a little better with them. Say Southern will have to drop back to a half court, won't they? We'll see. Nope. Yeah, there it is. Yep. If I say with the foul trouble early like this, I'd hate to press and well, get another one. It's a little half court trap. Yeah. So they're staying Shot aggressive. Up. Off the mark. No rebound and down low. He carried it. I think he walked. No, they're going to get a foul. Boy. Wow. Foul on Sergeant. Thought he lost it and carried it too. Walked with it. I didn't catch that one. Didn't see that. Foul was on Brandon Sergeant. Man, they have missed how many front ends of the one of ones Yeah, they're not taking advantage. Antonio, of all the way down the lane, up, and no good. It's going to be one of those games where there's going to be a lot of fouls called. Both teams are really aggressive driving the ball. Plus, it is a district opponent. Nobody likes each other. <laughs> you know, you don't want to lose to a district opponent. No. Thresh shorthanded that one, short-armed it. No good. 
Bragging rights mean a lot when you're an in county opponent. Second one up, good. 16 to 9 model. 115 to go opening quarter. Southern staying with their half court trap. It's been an exciting first quarter. Adams thought about it a long time, didn't he? He was ready to pull the trigger. Oh, nice little cut. Boy. How is that not a foul? <laughs> I think they got by one there. Now they're going to set up some offense. Over to Sergeant. Down low the thrash. Look at the score. To Huff. Off the mark. No good. Ooh. A lot of contact, no call. Finally get a charge underneath. A lot of contact, now they're going to let him play. I thought I thought Huff was in good position there. I thought he did a great job taking Huff that. Huff has drawn numerous charges this season. Mahalati's in here now. He's taking the place of Otieno. So that's going to hurt them as far as uh, ball handler and 35 seconds remain open in quarter. So he's going to catch a quick breather. Still in a little one, two, two, three quarter court. They look to bring it up against it, having a little trouble. Now they get it across the thresh. Huff back over. Nice head fake. 17 left on the clock. Let's see if Southern tries to hold this for one shot now. A one four look. Huff in the post. Get it feed him. Number th Sergeant. Sergeant with the shot. No good. Rebounded by Linville. Blocked from behind. Back up. Put number five at the line. Caleb Miller to the line for two shots. What about little Miller going in there and getting that rebound? Smallest man on the floor. Got the board. That shows it's not about your height. It's about your wanting to go get that rebound. Yeah. Now they have six. We're going to see a lot of free throws in the second quarter. Miller hits. Been down 16-5, 16-6. They've come back to 16-10. To right, and, and free throws have been the difference. You know, models, models have models opportunities. Missed and a bunch of one-on-ones. And Southern so far has been cashed in on theirs. Uh, they missed the second one. You've ruined it. End of the quarter. 16-10, to model on top. Exciting first quarter of action. Before we go to break, let me thank a few sponsors. I'd like to thank State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, and CSEP, Madison County, EMA.net. 1610, model on top. Be back for the second quarter after this. Time out. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Back to Mass Southern High School boys basketball action, 44th District style. Madison Southern and Model. Model leads 16 10 after first quarter. First quarter seen a lot of fouls. A lot of fouls. You got Kidwell and Jefferson on the bench over here with Southern, the two starting guards uh, with two fouls apiece. And then you got Kincaid on the bench with two fouls for Model. A lot of emotion in these games. Huff is going to draw a foul. Thought he traveled with it. They might just throw the clock away and let them have a free throw contest tonight. You know, I got here about 7 o'clock for the 7.30 game, and it was in the third quarter of the JV game. JV game was a little lopsided, so, so won by 30-something, I think. Yeah, I think they ended up 40, but. But uh, it's not going to be that way on this one. It's showed me a lot of fouls have been called, though. Or they had a triple header tonight. Yeah, the freshman game starts at 5, and then it kind of throws the varsity yep. a little bit behind it schedule does. a lot of times. Big part of this game, though, Southern's hitting their free throws. Model's not. Exactly. It's a four-point ball game now. 16-12. Showing that little half-court, three-quarter court trap with Southern. Here's the man of the hour, though. Well, stop him. Up. Stop Model. Gets it ahead. All the way down. Draw the charge. Can't get it a fall. 
Great job by Miller, though, the little man. You know, Huff did not draw the charge down here, nope. but he made Rice Gordon change direction yep. and alter his shot. So it was a great job again by Huff getting in position. And down here on the other end, Miller kid was able to draw the contact with the body and get to the line again. It's not always about being the most athletic or have the best shot. It's about being in position. Got to be in position. You, you know, that's a, that's a senior for you, a little experience there. Uh, knowing he's not going to block the shot, yep. but can still make an impact by drawing that charge. You know, it's like rebounding. The littlest guy can get the rebound. Just got to have the heart to go get it. I'll tell you what, Miller is an aggressive freshman. You got to really. He's not intimidated. No, he's not. By the big, big stage. 16-13 now. You can... Shot up, no good. Rebound. Down to Thrash, up to Miller. Oh, he lost the handle. But he found Linville. It's a one-point game. Southern's crawled right back Southern is on a nine-nothing run. It was 16 to six. Oh, nice little up and under. Good ball fake. You know, it's the first time that yep. models really looked inside it since Kincaid's go to the bench. So they're having to alter their game plan big time right now. Little floater, no good. A little out of control. Linville. No call. A lot, lot of contact down low. And they're going to get a little reach in on. Sergeant. Sergeant, number five. Was, yeah, number three. Team foul number nine. Bottle in the double bonus here on out for the remaining 6.32. They have missed every one of their front ends. More points left. Wow. If they end up losing this game, they can look no further than free throws. Looking down low once again to Huff. They're going to get a travel. Just as Gary say, Huff did a good job not putting the ball on the floor. He walked with it. Three-quarter half-court trap. And you know, they're not putting a tremendous amount of pressure no. on the ball. But oh, they're taking away the from them. offense quite a bit. Thrash all the way down the lane, up and good. One point ball game once again. Nice little jumper, no good. Linville with the board and he draws the foul. Devontae to the line for a one and one. Foul was on 25. Linville will be at the bonus. And he hits. I can't wait to see the free throw stats at half, see how many Southerners hit compared to model. Well, it's night and day. It is. I and mean, it's a difference in the game big time. It's a tie ball game, 18 apiece. Nice little rebound for the Miller freshman. Again. And the three's up, and good. Brandon Sargent, the freshman, or the sophomore guard, I'm sorry. Plus, he traveled. Sure did. I was a little bit uh, Well, I started right like it like. might be a blowout one way. It's turning into a very competitive ball game early. They're just a little bit out of rhythm, model is right now. And that half court trap, it's not causing you know, the direct turnovers, yeah. but you get your dead ball turnovers, it's bad shot selection. Model is completely out of their offense. And then when they have gotten fouled, like you oh, like no. keep talking about, it's not worked out for them. One of the, first, one of the few cut. turnovers for uh, yep. Southern so far. He, he ran the wrong way. 5-18 left, opening half. Model now on top, or Southern on top of Model, 21-18. Get it down low. 
They're going to draw the block. Foul on Thrash. Uh, he's just a little bit late getting there. Yeah. That's the second time they've been able to attack that mid post area and get something. So that, that might be something Model looks for here in the next little bit of this half. Seen Huff talking to the official. Huff doesn't need to talk to the official about that call. He needs to let Coach Petrie worry about it. He was just talking about the snow coming That's in. That's what it was. You think we'll have school tomorrow? <laughs> but worst thing a player can do is talk to an official during a ball game. Press is broken. Into the lane. Foul from behind. And the teardrop falls. Count the basket. I'll tell you what, Miller has really been a spark for hey. uh, Southern in this comeback. Miller has led him in this comeback. Back on top by two of the Eagles. And at the line for one is the freshman, Kayla Miller. Nothing but that. He's, he's really steady. Good hustler. You got to like the way he's playing tonight. Got a deflection right there. Almost caused a turnover. Shot out. A lot of contact after that shot. Oh, it's over the back. That's Rice Gordon. That's uh, two on him. Should be two. And Huff had a little action to say. Who do you think I put it in the line? Okay, should be Huff. Yeah, he's there. I thought he went to Devontae and said, you shoot. This is going to be a double bonus. Both teams are over the limit with 10 apiece. Nice. It's pretty solid. It's night and day on the free throws. You know, the game against Estel kind of hit two big ones yeah. to win the game right at the last five seconds to go. Night and day. You can never game. underestimate the poise and experience for a senior to step up in these situations. And you know, Southern's made their comeback with a lot of freshman sophomores, though. They have, and uh, now you see Rice Gordon going to the bench yep. and Kincaid coming back in. So yep. uh, it's going to be a little risky move and see how that pans out. No, they have no choice, though. Pretty basket. Mason. He's another senior for model, Keith Mason. No pressure at all. I mean, these young guards of Southern just breaking that press. Down low to Huff. Little hook in. Huff. Kareem, Kevin McHale. Wow. Uh, Where did that come from? It looked a little like Kevin McHale. Nobody knows what, who we're talking about in this age group, but we know. Whew. Added that to the arsenal over the weekend. It's a shame somebody with those kind of skills couldn't be about half a foot taller, oh, know. you know. Nice defense by Huff. Nice rebound by Linville. 28-23, Eagles on top. You know, Huff is another one that's led this comeback with uh, yes. a lot of things that don't show up in the Oh, the, the little scoreboard. things on it, yes. Right. Stuff the coaches have noticed. Oh, yeah. The defense, the deflections, the... Taking charges. He took that big charge. Feed him again. You know it. Well, good move by Southern to go in right at Kincaid because he's got those two fouls, and you know he can't be very aggressive Kincaid defensively. Kincaid knows right it now. too, and he doesn't. He cannot afford to pick up the third. Three eleven to go. Off the back iron, no good. Poised by Miller to know someone was behind him, not get back out. Over to Sargent, who's going to run the point. Oh, Linville cutting down the lane, didn't see him. They're looking inside again to Huff. And Kid Kane's, he's got to be careful even off the ball, you know, as far as going Oh, yeah. Down. 240 left, opening half. Got Devontae run that baseline. Look at the curl. Southern showing some good patience right I here. I don't know. Just about knocked away. Whoop. Up and good for number five. What about our boy Miller? Miller. I'll tell you what, he's really putting on a show this half. It's Miller time, as they used to say back in the day. <laughs> Reggie Miller style. 
High post, Kincaid, head taken away. On the ground. It's got to be a jump. Who got that deflection? Who got that tie up right there? I believe that's my boy Miller. I tell you what, I don't know where Southern would be without him right now. Miller to the bench. Oh, we have a timeout. That's why he's to the bench. We have a full timeout to Madison Southern. What well, started off 16 to 6. Southern now leads 32 23. We'll be back for the finish of the first half after you take this time out. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do if dangerous material spills happen and how to take shelter during bad thunderstorms. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at MadisonCountyEMA.net. Back to Madison Southern High School. Conclusion of the first half model in Madison Southern. Started off slow for Madison Southern. They were trailing 16 to 6 at one point. They now have a lead of 32-23. You know, they've stuck to their game plan. The, the half-court uh, trap has put pressure on model. Just enough to put them out of their rhythm. And uh, now you see Kincaid and Rice Gordon back on the floor, two of them Big with risk. two fouls. And uh, that's a sign that Coach Scarberry thinks this last couple of minutes is really important to this game. We can't let them get too far behind. You're down nine right now. Basket up and good, Kincaid. Well, Otieno's in, uh, also back into the lineup. Yeah. So It's important not to get too far behind, I guess. He, he's rolling the dice a little bit here. I was a little worried about the youth of Madison Southern. But when you got that boy right there, what's there to be worried about? I'll tell you Miller! That. He's having the game of his life. On the big stage in a district showdown. Wow. Nice shot. Just off the mark. Nice rebound. Nice little touch pass down low and Oh, boy. They're going to pop 42 with the foul. That's Andrew Miller. That looked like all ball right there. Jerry Pickrell with the call. He's been a, an official in this area for. Thank you. I couldn't think of his name when I saw him. Goes back to my early days of coaching. Oh, I know. If that tells you anything. I know. I knew him, but I cannot place the name with that. Huff didn't stay out long. Minute two left in the first half. Said it's a nine point ball game. Well, he finally hit a free throw. 34 26 now. Model dropping back. And they come after Miller. Miller in the lane. Finally missed one. Finally missed one. Probably not the smartest shot right there at this time. All the way down. No foul. Out of bounds. Off of red. I kind of thought it went off Southern, but. I think they got a break right there. We'll see what uh, Southern does if they can hold 38 the seconds. or how they're going to play this with 38 seconds up eight. And if you have an outstanding shot, you might take it. But I say hold for one. But they're going to come after the ball handler, so. Yeah, one of the few mistakes there by yeah. the Southern guards. Model wasn't going to let them hold for one no. shot. They were going to pressure. That's what I was thinking. They were going to pressure him into either they were going to have a layup or a turnover. Andrew Miller back in the lineup. 44 checks in. Jared. Griffin Gabbard into the ball game. Gabbard, I'm sorry, yep. 22, 21 seconds. Short corner underneath, nowhere to go. Stepped on the end line, I believe. Yes, he did. I was going to say, he, if that was a foul call, that was a bailout because he had nowhere to go. Well, he caught the ball just a little bit too deep toward the baseline. You never want to catch the ball there with the board or behind the board. He didn't have anywhere to go. Huff to the bench. Huff back off the bench. 
placed in thrash. Some offense, defense, and substitutions. Yes. 16 seconds, so they would love to hold for one. But, of course, if Huff can get one down low, you – I'm not too sure of the call. I'm counting players that have five apiece. Not sure what they're talking about either, unless there was something to do with the clock. Blue West one of Madison Southern girls assistant on the clock tonight. I'll tell you what, if you're an athletic director, you gotta get who you can. Whoever you can find. So oh, we've done do that before. Mr. William Dooley over there. Mr. Dooley, there you go. He's an honest man. There's no way he would uh, go one side or the other. Not even for his beloved Eagles? No. no. Oh. He has high. High praise character. for the man. Seven seconds, six. Well, they got to start looking. Four, three. I don't think they realize it. Three. Shot up. It's deflected. No good. Halftime, 34-26. Eagles on top. Going down to Samantha Burford with Coach Shane Buttry. All right, Coach, very exciting first half against Model. Your team got into some early foul trouble. What are your thoughts? Well, we're pretty deep. I like our guys coming off the bench. They always play with a lot of energy, and uh, they've got us the lead. We were down 16 to 6. Now we're up 8, so that's a pretty big difference in the last eight minutes of the game. Well, that's my next question is what do you think the difference is in the second quarter? Well, I think – they were really hot. I think we changed our defense a little bit to his own trap instead of being a full court defense, and that kind of slowed them down a little bit. They like to score off penetration and things, and we stopped that and made them settle for jumpers, and I think that played into our hands. I think your sons are the biggest fans out here tonight. Yeah, they are. They drive me crazy, but uh, I love them to death, and uh, it wouldn't be the same without them here. Good luck, Coach. Right. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service, in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. 
Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. Hello, everybody. I'm David Sullivan for Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full-service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Welcome back to Madison Southern High School. 44th district action between the Model Patriots and the Eagles of Madison Southern. Coach Sally, you have a couple of stats to throw at me? Well, we got several for each team in foul trouble. King K, Jefferson, Birds, and Sargents all got two for uh, Southern. King K, Rice, Gordon, OTNO, AG, and Mohality all have two for Model. And uh, it was a tale of two quarters. You know, you had uh, uh, Central outs. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Model out 16 to 10 the first quarter, yep. and Southern comes back 24 to 10 yep. in the second quarter to turn this thing around. You got uh, everybody with their starters back in, so we'll see what happens here. Model coming out of that pressure. Stacy Burns loses it, but he's right back on the floor after it. On the baseline, turnover. Good effort. Buttry wants a timeout. He might want to hold that timeout though for a little later. Yes. Burns just couldn't get possession of it long enough to get the timeout. But As you said, free throws were big in that first half, weren't they? i tell you another thing that's going to be really big is who picks up those third fouls the earliest, which team gets their players in that's foul right. trouble. You know, neither team can afford to lose one of their big boys. And right there it was. And that was probably the one guy model cannot afford to they lose. They can ill afford to lose him. I think he got all ball on top, but I believe he did. Oh, he bodied him, though. He did body him. That's the third. At the line, number four, the freshman Jefferson. Well, now Coach Scarberry is put into position. Now, what do you do? Do you roll the dice? Now he has a big decision to make. This early in the second half, or do you pull him out and see what you can do without him we're, in the lineup? We're 31 seconds into the opening third quarter. Linville. Off of Linville. Good call. Good hustle by both players yes. there. I mean, it's a good hustle for him getting back and making a effort to block it. Oh, he's ticked off, though. You can see it in his body language. He's not very happy with that foul call. 
Well, if he stays in the lineup long, he's really going to have to adjust himself. He's going to have to get that temper under control, too, right now. Thought he walked. He picks up a fourth foul. It's done. Oh, that's a silly foul. Silly foul for Linville. He just hacked. Oh. 44 to the line. That's Kincaid. You say he's playing with two? He's playing with two. You know, going back to leaving your player in the lineup, uh, you can't afford to let this score get away from you either. So, you know, you can have your your player not in foul trouble in the fourth quarter, but the game be out of reach. So sometimes you've got to take the like, chance and hope he's smart enough chance. to stay out of trouble. Exactly. And he's a senior, so you hope, or if you're a model, you're hoping he can. Southern play broke it easily. Up. And the big boy, Huff. For Huff. Great patience by Huff. Oh, got away with one was Tanner. Uh oh, wide open. Out of bounds to model. You know, Rice Gordon was on that play down here on the other end. He yep. had to kind of back off just a little bit. He's got to realize he has three. A fourth one, he definitely has to go to the bench. How is that not a travel? They got it. Let's go a little old school once again. That reminded me of Patrick Ewing going across the lane. <laughs> oh, pressure once again. Huff, Kidwell, Tanner lost it. And out of bounds, Blunks to the Eagles. Thirty-seven twenty-eight Eagles on top. Burns to the lane and good. We have a dead ball. A little delay of game warning there after the basket. He tipped the ball away. The next one of those would be a technical if it were to occur. I don't know if I can remember the last time I've seen so much half court trap and two three zone. I know. By both teams. They're both playing the same way. In a boys game. Stacy lost it, but it was tipped out from behind. Mahler drops back into the half court, but I'm sure they're looking to press. Trap out of it. Kidwell's got to get the ball off his head. Can't do much with it up there. Stacy Burns. I'm sure Southern will take that all day. That high post was wide open, and Burns did a good job attacking. There's Huff again. Charge. Huff for the second charge taken of the game. You know, there's a player that understands his role and his and his abilities. He's not a shot blocker, nope. but he reads the play. He gets set, and it's just as effective as a as a, uh, That's a turnover. shot. Plus, That's a turnover. the other team has got another foul on That's him. That's right. That's two fouls on model. Right idea by Kidwell. Just let him a little too yeah. much. You know, you need a bunch of kids like Huff who understand their roles. Again, that goes back to being a senior, I think, and uh, he's been through this before. 41-28, five and a half left third quarter. Southern on top. Taken away by Linville, out of bounds. Both teams are showing a little soft spot right in the middle of that zone. They have. And, uh, the post high post has been there for both teams. Yes. Kincaid. Not this time. <laughs> yeah, it was a little flop. Well, Kincaid knew he was waiting, kind of veered off right there. Kind of the like end. almost baited him. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm not coming. Well, he knew he knew Huff was but waiting. It's only two on Trevor, so. Well, he joins half the players out there with two fouls. That's what I was going to say. It's easier not to say who has two. Now, why did he only get one shot? So what a bonus. As it is, it's a timeout to Madison Southern. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here, but I'd like to thank a couple more sponsors. Thanks to Liberal Insurance and Richmond Tourism. 
And Rosenbaum Communications. Without all of our sponsors, we couldn't do this. Back to the action. Doug, can you explain to me why he got one shot? You know, I was looking down at some uh, stats and some fouls, and I really didn't see whether he, wasn't he shot a bonus. two or one. No, it, no way it was a bonus. I think he only shot the one. He was in the act of shooting, so it had to be two shots. But foul. I'm like you. I must have looked down and missed it because, you know, they would have went nuts if it had right, been only right. one. I'm assuming he, he had two free throws there. Southern will have the ball to inbound. 41-30. Model's consistent. They're staying right there with the uh, half-court pressure. A little three-quarter. You heard Coach Butcher at halftime when asked by Samantha Burford about the foul situation. He was okay with it, said he had a deep enough bench that it wasn't a problem right now. Kidwell down the lane and good. Nice. Real nice. Use both hands, and we're going to get the T. Well, I tell you. That's horrible. I know you gave them to the delay a game warning, but that's garbage. That's just garbage. I didn't see that. Uh, I'll call it. At all. I mean, sometimes when you make a basket, the ball just comes down. Right and to you. Tanner didn't go on his way to hit the ball. No, it wasn't no. like he deflected it against the wall or anything. Oh, that was a bad call in my mind. But, yeah, you know, the way they're shooting free throws, they got that one. Well, the first half model was two out of eight from yes. the free throw line, and he missed three front ends of the bonus. A lot of front ends of the one of ones And then on the other end, you have Southern going 13 for 19. So That spurred the comeback for the Eagles. It did. And now you have the possibility of a four or even five-point play that's, here. That's right. And, uh, you know, model get a little encouragement going. 43-32. Eagles on top now. A lot of bumping down low. Huff gets it up to Burns, who regains it. All the way over to Linville for three. Real nice kick out by Burns. He went to the basket, kind of caught behind the board. Linville spotted up, drilled it. Right place, right time. Oh, nice little tip away. Yeah, but that's that's a play I bet you Coach Butchery would rather not see right now from Kidwell with them being in foul trouble. With we two fouls, foul. that's true. That's very easily could have been called for the third. He's reaching again. He's got to move his hands, not his feet. Or move his feet, not his hands. Nice offensive board. Boy, they've blown a couple opportunities there. Take it away. Call it a jump. Uh-oh. He's got a foul underneath. He got a foul on. Is that? It is. It's number 13. Rice Gordon. Wes Scarberry is ticked off to say the least. Yeah, that was a huge, huge as he's call gonna in this have to, game. One official had the jump, but and her know, man came over to noon. Foul always takes present over it does. any other call. So. It does. Four minutes, 16 seconds left in the third quarter. He has to sit with his third, or his fourth. Make a note of it. Mahalati, he's got two fouls also. He's in to replace Rice Gordon. Southern needs to put the nail down now. Lay the hammer. Manville, nice ball fake. Over to the up. freshman. Nice rebound from Kidwell. I would like to know the percentage of possessions where there's been a foul call tonight. I guarantee it's well over 50% of the time there's been a foul. I, I, we knew going in with the new rules and stuff, there's going to be a lot more fouls on hand checks and whatnot, but. At the line for two, he missed the first, but. Comes A.G. back in. Mason out for model. Three fifty-three left, forty-seven. 32, Eagles up. And we're going to get the foul called on Kidwell. It'll be his third. The exact same thing we were talking about there. He wasn't yep. able to get by with it this time. It's just not a smart play when you're in foul trouble to gamble like that. You're up. You're in control of the game. you got a 15-point lead. The only good thing about that is you got Miller coming in, and he Miller. had 
uh, eight point half and did so many other intangible things the first half to kind of spark that comeback from Southern. He did. The little sophomore guard, freshman guard, Kayla Miller. How many layups can they miss in a half? I don't know, but when he went to the hole right then, they had nobody back. They're going to draw the foul. Foul on, on number two, end. Jared Adams. Same thing on this end. You, know, you have a, a reach and a gamble, not moving your feet, not getting in position to contain the ball. Model's not careful. This thing's going to get away from him. That's what I was going to say. Model's going to have to try to keep it close while their best player is on the bench. Nice feed down low to Huff as he walked with it. Oh, what we got? I think number two was reaching Adams to see if he calls Another it. Another foul. You are correct. Foul underneath. You just wonder how long Model can stay in this zone. I mean, I, they try to pressure out of it, uh, but they're just, you know, they're staying in the same pattern. Yeah. Taken away. Southern's really gotten used to it. Nice Number move. Number three to the hole. Antonio with a basket. Just a sophomore guard, number three is. Miller to Linville. Linville drives to her boy Huff. Dribbles off his foot. Timeout. Great hustle by Burns. To the Eagles. Ooh. I thought Coach Butcher had a timeout there, but they, they said it was a tie ball. Tied up. It's like one official was going to give Buckery timeout, then the other said, no, wait, I had to jump ball first. Right. So. And what's one thing as an official you don't want? You don't want that discrepancy between no. the calls. That really can make them look bad at it times. It does. Just like with the foul on Rice Gordon. Oh, no, they can't buy a basket this quarter right now. You know, Coach Scarberry said Model is they, cold. Were, they had three shooters, but they were a little inconsistent. And they have been that tonight. Stacy Burns off the mark. Good block out there. Oh, oh no, they're going to get the foul on Linville. Could be his third. Team foul number five. Both teams working their way toward that bonus situation well, again. Southern's already in the bonus on their next foul committed by Model. And Model is two fouls away from being in the bonus. Right. Not only is Model playing in foul trouble, they're also playing without one of their kids who exactly. was ejected Saturday night. So. Exactly. So they're already shorthanded, and now you got your best player sitting on the bench. And, and the other one in foul trouble as well. Exactly. Kincaid's in trouble. Another Good foul. This zone's been effective for Southern, and most of the time they've been able to block out of it, which is one of the risks you take when you play zone. Kincaid down the lane. He traveled with it. And they got it. 47-34. So Southern just can't pull away far enough. Well, they've got them on the ropes right now, and 13 is still this very last couple minutes is really going to be a key in this third quarter. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Find Stacy who draws the foul from number 10. <laughs> Levi Ag with a foul call against him. Here's our shaking march his head to the official. Here's our march to the line again here. And now we are in the bonus for the Eagles. Stacy, good from the free throw line. You might notice Stacy's got a Band-Aid over his uh, eye there. He yes. was cut in the game against Clark County Friday. They thought he may have had a concussion, but apparently he didn't. Talked to Coach Ruppert for the game. He said they did the cat scan. Everything was good. That's great because if he'd had a concussion, he'd be over on the bench right now watching right. the street close. Got to get the hands off. Minute 53. Oh, that looked oh, like he travel. had her travel. Yeah. 49-34. It's now up to a 15-point advantage. You know, it almost seems Milo is trying to catch up in one possession right now. They're out of control. They're taking four shots. Uh, they really are out of kilter on the offensive end. They said they've only been – they've lost three games this season. They're not used to being behind. No, they're not. And uh, a lot of that oh, might have turnover to be. by Huff. Bad pass. Taken down lane by the guard, number three. 
Antonio, the sophomore guard. Hey, what? He's effective going to the basket. And he's, he, he knows the way to the basket. He does. And here he is on the right side of the free throw line again. <laughs> yes, I don't. I don't think I can ever. You think the nail that model is off by him a little bit? <laughs> I don't know, but he's got his body turned to the left. I've never and seen he missed a another real one. outstanding free throw shooter <laughs> with that kind of technique. Here we go. Stacy kicks it out of bounds. Mm. You know, if Bottle can get it down to 10, they got to feel great about their chances in the fourth quarter. Well, with the foul trouble they've been in, Rice Gordon on the bench. You know. Oh, they feed it down low, and Huff commits the foul. Boy. That could be three or four on him. I think, I think it may three. be his third. His third. Both teams just reaching tonight. I mean, they're, they are. They're, they're gambling. They're reaching. They're a sloppy game. Basket up, good for Kincaid, 44. Six-five senior. Linville checking in for Huff. We'll give him a break right before the quarter break. Maybe keep him from picking up. Maybe. His 122 left. It's down to 11. Started off 16-6. Southern ran off, got the lead at half. And now Model trying to make it a game of it. Trying to cut it to single digits for the fourth quarter. Well, Burns was wide open. He the was. There for a second. He was jumping Jack Stander, wanting the ball. They're going to call it off, Stacy. It's a couple of turnovers here they really don't need. Now they have a chance to take it below into single digits. Right. Well, sophomore guard going to double the air out of it. That gets ready to the five second count. I don't think he's looking to shoot the ball from the perimeter much. No, I think like he wants to drive. Slasher. Good move by Kincaid there. Nice, finish. nice follow up by 45. Mahalty. Mahalty with the follow up. And it's down to nine. Miller. Over the thrash. 19 seconds left. Flipping on the outside. Then we're back to Miller. 12 11. Down below 10. Time to make the offense. Six, five, nice little drive, up short. Three, two, put it up. He draws the foul. Oh my goodness. He called a foul on a buzzer beater. Woo. You don't see officials blow that much. Well, he did get fouled. And you know, it was unfortunate there for Model that they didn't come up with that loose ball. But uh, great heads up play by Burns. He, he knew how much time was That's left. Right. He got that ball up and, and now gets he's been two. rewarded. That's a big play. That you know, is. Had it cut to single digits. Had it down to nine. It's now up to 11. Two point turnaround in one second. So there you go. From feeling good to feeling bad. 51 40 Eagles on top. Back for the fourth quarter after this timeout. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear. And Rosenbaum Communications. Back Massa Southern High School, fourth quarter action. Eagles on top, 51-40. We just saw the big turnaround at the end of the third quarter. Stacy Burns drew the foul at the buzzer, knocked him down. Pushed the lead out to 11. Yeah, and now the question becomes, you know, there's, there's two big things coming up this quarter. Number one, how long do you keep Rice Gordon on the bench? Number two, can Southern stay aggressive against the model defense? Uh, with and still hold their poise. You know, they've got control of the game. They're up 11. Uh, they don't need to force anything, but they still need to stay aggressive and, and look for their shots. 
To be honest, I'm a little surprised that Rice Gordon is not back in now. Well, he can't stay on the bench long. Yeah. I, I'd about have to put him in now. Kidwell. Burns. Big shot. Stacy off the mark. Rebound it. Burns got his own rebound. Up and good and a basket. Basket and foul. Two huge plays by Burns back to back. Kidwell kept it alive, knocked it to Stacy, and he was able to go in. Draw the foul. Southern now goes in to the double bonus for the remainder of the game. He finished that three-point play, so there's five points that Burns has come up with that has really broke the, uh, broke the moment. Model is in big-time foul trouble now. I believe that might have been the third on Kincaid. They got to find some offense somewhere. Nice rebound by Linville going to get it. Little freshman Jefferson is going to bring it down. Like we were talking about, Southern can afford to be patient. They don't need to. Nice basket by Linville. Another big basket. Quickly, 57-40, and here comes Rice Gordon off the bench to the table. The model's got their back to the wall now, and here comes Rice Gordon back in. Nice take by number three. He's been able to keep him in a little bit, but not enough. Antonio had it knocked away. Staying with the Eagles. Well, how long can Rice Gordon stay in the game? That's He's been be aggressive. Question. We'll have to see if the Eagles go at him, you know, trying to draw that fifth foul. He doesn't seem like the kind of player that wants to play back. Thrash. Had it knocked away, picked up by Linville. Stacy Burns down the lane. He up tried, and off the mark. He tried to draw that foul. He tried he to did. throw his body into him. Didn't and work out that time. Rice Gordon had that rebound and shot off the mark. Jump. No foul on Stacy. Foul on Burns. I think uh, they called that on Jefferson. Jefferson. Team eight to the line for the one on one is number one. Mason. Coach Butcher's not going to fool around. He puts Huff back in the game for Thrash. Lead is what? 15, 57, 42, 6 10. Rice Gordon can knock down a couple of shots. We know he can shoot to three. So you want to put them down while well, you've got them down. Keep them there. Taking his time at the line. Up with the second. Off the mark. Level with the rebound. Six minutes left in the ball game. Tanner Kidwell down the line. Had it taken block back from Rice Gordon. Well, another big gamble by him. Oh, that's bad dangerous, I mean. Like I said, uh, he doesn't seem like the kind of player who's going to take it easy. Kincaid up and good. Quickly, it's 11, 57-46. Foul, oh four-point play. <laughs> and they're going to tee him up. Who did they get? I think they're going to tee up Linville. Technical foul. Technical foul on someone. I believe it's one of the Southern's players. Huff with the tee, I believe they just said. Something must have been said. I didn't see it had to have been said. contact. <laughs> you said one of the magic words. Or was a foul on... I guess technical foul was on half. All right, so we're going to shoot one here. That's big four-point four point play. 
Then we're going to come down the other end and shoot two. He misses the free throw. But now even bigger, they get two free points opportunity at the line. And the, they'll have the ball back. That's right, they'll get the ball. And it counts as a personal. Right, that's four. So that's going to be four. Mm -hmm. Misses the free throw. Models down, fall has been free throws. You know, that it, the free throws and the foul trouble have just been killers for Model tonight. Second one up is good. Thresh will check in for Trevor as he sits with the four. It's a 13 point advantage for the Eagles. Still anyone's ball game. Five right. and a half left. They're still alive. And they're going to keep looking inside the Kincaid. Nice take by the sophomore and a timeout to model. It's 11 points. 520 left. Feel the o momentum shift. Might have gone back to model. Right. They got a little bit right now. And OTNO has proved time and time again that he can go in there and finish at the rim. So uh, he and Kincaid are the two I think they're looking for at this time, yeah. along with, of course, Rice Gordon. It's going to be an exciting finish this ball game. I know you'll stay with us after this timeout. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do if dangerous material spills happen and how to take shelter during bad thunderstorms. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Back to Mass Southern High School. Mass Southern model district action. It's been an exciting ball game. Neither team's been able to pull away from one another. Right, and if Model's got anything left in their tank, they're going to have to turn the heat up a little bit on this pressure. See if they can create some turnovers. We are down to five minutes in the ball game. Kidwell all the way down. And Rice Gordon with the block. I'll tell you what, that's two plays he's made with four fouls. You know what, though? The officials know that, too. You think they don't want to foul them out? Sometimes they do. Unless it's I, obvious. I thought that was a good block down here. This oh, it, end, though. it looked clean, but you got it down to he might get away with again. a little more. It is down to nine. Good pass. Up and off the glass for Antonio. Jefferson with a great vision there. Out of control, big time, looking for the foul. Tanner and Kincaid get tied up for a jump. Well, Loves the model. Otieno was looking to draw a foul more than score the points right there. And he was. He was he, looking for he, that contact. He did not get bailed out. That's why he missed the shot. He threw up a wild one hoping to draw something. Both teams in a double bonus. Both teams with plenty of timeouts. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with the Lord number three. He's come to play in the second half. That's right. And there's that soft spot in that zone we've been talking about. All night long. Miller, Thrash, Burns. There it is. Off the mark. Rebounded by Thrash. No good. Four minutes, three seconds left. 62 this, to 53. This is a big trip for Model. They haven't been this close with the ball uh, this whole half, so we'll see what happens here. If they can score right here, the That would have been big, way off the mark, though. Pretty quick three. Looks like Southern made tried to run a little clock if they're able to. Model's going to pressure. <laughs> the model or the Southern bit sideline over there is one that technical. He was a little frustrated nah, gonna get to it. get that steal, but no harm there. It wasn't meant it. it. The difference with that was it wasn't directed at anyone. Right, exactly. More at himself. That was just frustration on, you know, on himself. Now, if he had been in front of one of the Southern players at the bench and looked at them, then that's a different story. Exactly. Huff has checked back into the ballgame from Asa Southern. 
So see if they can go to him down low. There's that little hook. Kincaid on the sideline. Great hustle. He almost it, had it. It's going to go to model. And if he'd been able to save it, that'd been two because yep. they were wide open underneath. Got offense, defense, offense, going defense out with, now. With thrush and uh, health yep. exchanging. Yep. Each possession. Three and a half. They need to make a move now. Tony Thrash leads the breakdown. Off the glass, he got a foul call. Call against number two. Should be against Garrett Adams. And to the line for two shots will be Antonio Thrash. Those two trips in a row, models come down with a chance to cut it to seven or even six. Took and up. They've come up empty. Ill advised three by Rice Gordon and then had it picked away there. Now is not the time for Southern to start missing free throws, though. Yeah, you don't want to go cold here because you know you're going to be shooting a bunch. That's this right. Last 320. You want to knock these down. Who had the shooter? No one. And it belongs with the Eagles. You have one job. Block the shooter. Southern had nobody on the lane except for the Ooh. shooter, and he's the one who and gets he's the one that kept it alive. That's just unacceptable. But, wow. again, great heads-up play. Hey. He knew he missed the shot. He fouled it. That's right. Now you got a chance to really make a big basket right here on this possession. Southern maintains possession. Huff. And we're going to get a foul on Kincaid. That's four on Kincaid. And it's now four. How much you want to bet that they block out the shooter this time? Dad, that will be a given, I hope, for model's sake. Thrash at the line. He will be checking in for Huff, as we said, offense, defense. Ten-point advantage now. It's back up to ten. Out to 11. Three fifteen left. Sixty-four to fifty-three. Models in that tight spot. You can't be too patient, but you no. can't just go nuts and can't jack up the three just because. Right, right. They're going inside the king cake. Nice little follow-up by number one, Mason, and a timeout to model. A full timeout. Three oh three left. To sixty-four fifty-five. Huff coming back in. Offense, defense again. Tell you what, with 303 left, we're going to take a break and be back for the conclusion of this ball game after this timeout. You want to know school sports in Madison County? Then you need to visit MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Everything sports in Madison County. That's Madison County SchoolSports.com. Visit us now. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. Back to action at Southern. Southern model, going to be a close one. 303 remain, it's 64-55, Eagles on top. The model's extending their pressure here. They got nothing to lose. They got to go for steals and try to create some turnovers and more opportunities. He walked. Right there. Oh. Kind of shuffle his feet. Crazy turnover. No, Southern's in position right now. If they take control, uh, care of the ball and hit their free throws, they should have no problem. But those are two iffy things when you yep. got such a young squad. That's right. Impressed the way Southern is able to come back, been down 16-6 early, have the lead most of the ball game. 
Now we're down below three, so it's getting to be that pressure time for Model. Can't find a shot they like. They're looking inside the Kincaid still. And they're going to get the Boy, foul on Kidwell. Another, another foul you don't want to commit. You stop the clock. They put their best shooter on the line. They're going to score points without using and the clock. That, well, that's Kincaid's fourth I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Kidwell's Kidwell. fourth foul. Let's hope this don't go to overtime because either team may not have star player on the floor. Docks it down. Offense, defense exchange. Huff and Thrash. They put the score up wrong on the wrong side. I thought they did. I was going to say, whoa. Yeah, that cut it to eight. Should be 64 yeah. to. 56, mm -hmm. 57. 57 if he hits this one. There you go. It's an eight point advantage. They're in the process of correcting that. I see him talking over there. 227. Stacy. Foul. Count it. There's your that fifth. Might be the dagger. Not only a three point play, Rice Gordon to the bench. Takes it out once again to 10. But the big thing, Rice Gordon to the bench for model. He is done for the night. And Stacy knocks it down. And a full timeout to Madison Southern. Well, model hasn't shown that they can uh, hit the outside shot enough no. to get back into this game. Uh, unless they hit a hot streak, Southern looks to be in control. Kincaid, you know, if they're going to take the time to work the ball inside to him, it's going to use a lot more clock. They're in a really bi a real bind right now. Problem is they have 225 left to do it with. And yep. As you said, they can't continue to try to find that post play. Well, the, and the sand is, is working through the hourglass. They're just running out of time. Model's in bad situation. The best player on the bench now. I believe Kincaid's got four, doesn't he? He does. So he's a whistle away from being gone. No, the game plan is, has been true. Southern stayed in that zone all night. It's taken away a, a lot of the penetration and offensive yep. opportunities for Model. They have not consistently hit the outside shot. And the only time they've been hurt is when they've been able to get the ball inside to Kincaid or others in that little soft spot in the middle of the zone. Early in the ball game, Model missed a lot of free throws, left a lot of points at the line. So, could be different. 220, see what they want to do. Going to feed the post, kick it out. Got to jack it up. And they hit one. 67 59, eight point advantage. 2.03 left. That was almost a must possession by Model. And almost a turnover by Southern. Thresh did a good job of saving it. I thought Jefferson got by with a walk right now there. Now you got a foul. If you're a Model, what are you waiting for? 150. Over to Linville. Layup. Missed the bunny. Both get on the floor after it. Linville does. Kittle can't get the hander. Number one does. And oh three-point play. Wow. Huge turnaround right there. That's one of those plays when you have that loose ball and you come up with it and get a basket, it's a real momentum swing. Now you got the lead down to six. Antonio says, not so fast, my friends. Huff coming back in for the offense. This could cut it to five, 67-61 right now. And this is when, you know, the pressure mounts if you're the team that's ahead because you don't you don't have that luxury of making a mistake that doesn't hurt you. Now every mistake is crucial. That's right. You got it down to five. Down to five. Minute 36 remain. Southern needs to be strong with the ball because they know the foul is a coming. And they do have good shooters on the on the floor right now. For Southern. Gets everybody it. everybody on there are good shooters. Southern's going to play straight up, it looks like. And there's just about that turnover. They don't need to get in a hurry right now. No, just... what are you looking for a shot for? Uh-oh. 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 
Yep. He went off his knee. Chance to cut it even farther down, maybe to two or three. Huge possession right here. This is it for Model. Are you going to play around and look for the two again? You, you've got time to be patient a little bit. You really don't need to rush. Oh, in and out. In and out. Big rebound for Thrash. Gets it ahead to Jefferson. Over to Kidwell. And if I was Model, I'd, one be, looking, minute. I'd be looking to foul Thrash. That's right. He'd be the one I'd look to foul. Well, Nothing against Antonio, but he's right. the man I'd want. Well, that's why Coach Butcher keeps subbing in Huff for the offense, is that exact thing. And, it, and of course, Huff's in foul trouble. 57.7 now, less than a minute, five-point ball game. Two big ones for Burns right here. He gets the first. He's really come up clutch into the third quarter. Now, right now, another free throw. Got it up to seven. That's big as we go down to 53. Rebound Kidwell. And he draws another foul. Southern may pull away and make it look better on paper, but it's a lot closer than this score is going to show. Well, you got to give credit to Model for not giving up. You know, they, they third quarter it. they couldn't buy a basket. Their best players on the floor on the on the bench with four fouls. I figured this might have been a cakewalk. Well, if Southern just knocks their free throws down here, I think they're going to be in good shape. But Model's still not out of it. 50.1 left. Seven point advantage. I mean, Southern's still going to have to hit a free free throws here to exactly. put it away. Seconds is a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Especially where they've been blowing the whistle. Not sure what the delay is. Uh, Adams just fouled out number two for model. So we had a 30 second timeout. Kidwell. It's kind of like he froze Kidwell on the line then without having to take a timeout. He was able to ice him. Tanner. And it works if you're a model fan. Well, one thing about it, it's not the front end. He's got this other free throw coming. That's right. This is a two shot. Everything's two unless it's a three point yeah. attempt right now. Yep. Yeah. And the second one's good. Eight point advantage. They're gonna let the ball roll as much as possible. And throw it away. That should be the nail in the coffin. I might have killed every cow in Texas, as my dad used to say. <laughs> They're still gonna press. Try to make a turnover. You never wanna say never though. I've seen no. plenty of things uh -huh. happen. I know it. Been on the back end of some of those crazy things. Huff will be at the line for two. Well, that's going to be it for one of those players, I believe. You'd think so. Been a lot of fouls called tonight. That's not fouling. Yeah, there you go. They're going to let him shoot free throw they're anyway. Not, they're not administering this correctly. He should already be yes. substituted before they shoot that's the free right. throw. That's right. Come on, Jerry, get your crew correct. He said, what, wait, that's five? Kincaid goes to the bench. And that's what the discussion is about. The free throw shouldn't have been shot. You have to always replace a foul yes. out shooter before you do anything else. But in their defense, the scorers never let them know ahead of time, I mean. You've got to let them know quick if it's five. Scarberry's not going to fight with it. He's just subbing in. Kind of like seating. Harold Eden over on the scorebook. I'm, he has kept a scorebook for Madison Southern every season since the school started. Really? Diehard Eagles. I'm not going to blame it on him, though. He's too good of a friend of mine. Mr. Dooley on the clock. Nice little turnaround jumper. Timeout to model. 
We'll stay here for the final 29.9 at 72.64. Well, models in position now. They're eight down, 29 seconds to go. He's probably telling them right now, you've got to have a steal or a foul on the inbounds pass. You cannot Put let them foul. run the clock. Yeah. You can't let them get the ball across midcourt without a foul. Got to go quick. you got to gamble. Hard trap, maybe give them one opportunity on a pass to steal, and then you've got to go ahead and make that foul. Well, we have a moment. I think we need to pick a player of the game, a Jack Burford Chevrolet player of the ball game. I think we've agreed. I think it's got to be Trevor Huff tonight. You know, he, he – He's done all the intangibles. He's drawn charges. He's rebounded the ball. He's scored inside. Played he's knocked nice his defense. free throws down. He's shown some good poise and leadership. So I think we have to go with Trevor. Well, he's hit a lot of big free throws in that second quarter when Southern made their comeback. Scarberry upset. One at the five. Didn't get it. Timeout to Madison Southern. You know, Southern ran – Instead of running the baseline that time, they passed across they the did. baseline, which is legal after a made basket. It's just the same thing as someone running and yep. making a pass themselves. So a good move, but Model had it covered, and a uh, heads-up play again by Burns to take that timeout to avoid a turnover. You don't see many many teams do that, running no, the out-bounds like that. It really is a good pressure relief, especially if you have a man on the ball. Yep. If there's a guy guarding the, the ball out of bounds and you can make that pass where the – the man that catches doesn't have to throw out of pressure, then that, it could be a little easier inbound situation. Now they do not have a man on the ball. Able to get into Stacy, and they quickly there's, foul him. There's your quick foul. All of three seconds, and it sounds like number five on him. It's going to be their third player to foul out tonight. If that's what they're doing right now. There's a question over there on the scores table about something. Might have been the clock. You know, you had the, the ball was – they fouled him immediately yeah. after the inbounds, and there was 29.9, and now it's 26.1. So they may have to reset the clock here just a hair. And it appears what they're doing. I was at 291. Well, <laughs> they, got that, they got the tenth of there a second go. up there, and it's uh, – that's going to be pretty close right so there. So they did. They put back. It took about nine-tenths of a second to commit that foul. I, I think that's very fair. As we said, we, Mr. Dooley's not the usual clock man. His, son, his uh, brother played for me. I've known William for years and not a finer person out there. I tell you, the worst thing for a new clock man is a close game because <laughs> you've got to be on that trigger, not too fast, not too lazy. Right. Burns gets one of two, so it's a nine-point game. Off the mark, rebound it to number four, the freshman uh, Jefferson. I think that should do it right there. Tell you what, I'm really impressed the way the Eagles. I mean, I've harped on it down 16-6. They could have easily folded up and gave, you know, let Model run away. They made a nice comeback, took a lead, never gave it up. Right, and you know, Model might have helped the cause a little bit with they the did. free throw shooting. Uh, both teams were in. Deep foul trouble, and uh, looks like Southern was able to overcome that a little bit better than, than Model was tonight. Now, Model's a team, I could see them giving some trouble in the 44th this year. Well, the chin boy that was out tonight is 6'5 and gives yeah. them another inside presence. So, nice little take. if these two teams meet again, uh, it's going to be really interesting. 75 66, 15.2. Model takes their final timeout. So we'll keep it here one more time. As I said, now Southern has played every team in the district. They are now two and one. Only lost to Central. Well, and they have Berea coming in here Friday night. Yes. That's going to be our next game. Have they played Berea once already at I Berea? I think they may have played in the. Uh, I might have met in a tournament in somewhere. Tournament. Okay. I'm really not sure. About I knew that. they had them scheduled. I didn't know if they played them yet or not. Right. So. And, and Berea is down this year. They're still yeah. in the rebuilding phase of their program, and so. I uh, expect a big crowd here anyway. That's because right. Southern and Bree get together. There's always – Boy-girl level header, I believe. The girls play at six. That's right. Um, one of my ex-players is the coach over at Bree now, Jennifer Cornett. She's taken over for a longtime coach, Jerry Bingham. And she's awful young as I've, well. I've heard some good things about her and the way she's run her team. So, 
Model's still going to put him on the line. Yep. I thought they might call off the dogs and just let They're the clock run no out. Quit. He's not. You know, we've harped about this seeding drawing thing before, but I wish we'd seed because look at the crowd here tonight. Exciting game, big crowd. Well, it, if we'd play everybody, he'd play everybody. Financially, uh, it's a no-brainer. Oh, yes. But, um, you know, then, then you have to work out, okay, are you going to play your seeded games home yeah. and home? Yeah. Which would tie up two games. That's the problem with the schedule, isn't it? And uh, Madison Central probably isn't real big on that. Yeah. Uh, that would that would uh, tie up six of their games. Yeah. So, you know, a, a solution may be to play uh, both games on a neutral floor three three we times. Remember Huff. You know, that, that may yeah. be something they could look at. Maybe get a weekend or something, but instead of our calls now, we're no longer involved. That's right. Madison Southern wins it 77-66. Great game, Coach. It was, and a much-needed win for Southern. You know, they, they've had a, they've been taking their lumps here lately, and so that's a little confidence boost for them, and I'm sure Model will be looking forward to getting Chin back in you the lineup. You know Southern loves beating the district rival now. They oh. go to 6-9. Model falls 12-4. Right. So, exciting game. As Coach said, we'll be back for, I believe, it's Southern Berea is our next ball game. Friday night so, right here. For everyone watching, we'd like to thank you. Thank you to our sponsors. Thanks to Sean Rosenbaum on the camera. Our cameraman don't get enough credit. So for everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time in the gym. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do if dangerous material spills happen and how to take shelter during bad thunderstorms. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talked a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. <laughs> So they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. As you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. Hello, everybody. I'm David Sullivan for Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full-service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients, such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. You want to know school sports in Madison County? Then you need to visit Madison County SchoolSports.com. Everything sports in Madison County. That's Madison County SchoolSports.com. Visit us now. Hello, everyone. I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, 
and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hey everybody, be a friend of Madison County School Sports Television on Facebook, MCS TV. On Facebook, log on and like us now. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talk a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. So they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. can see Randy they are free what's so hard about free throws come on boys and girls hit your free throws you'll win the game <laughs> <laughs>